Hey there, Sharon Hornelstrom here. Welcome to day 27 of our BU 365 Day Challenge. Today we're going to talk about your environment. You're going to think about your environment. I'm going to think about my environment. Our environment, of course, just like everything else we've talked about this month, is a huge topic, right? It could have to do with our physical body, what our body environment is, what the environment our physical body is involved in. It could be about our living space, where we live. And we'll, I'll share those cards in a minute, but let's talk about our environment and the impact it has on our health and our well-being overall. If we live in a place, depending on the climate, I live in Wisconsin, so it's cold in the winter, and that has an effect on me, right? We get dry air that we're breathing, dry heat process there because the furnace is running all the time. So our skin gets dry, our sinuses get dry, we get hacky itchy throats and coughs. We tend to get sick more often than people that live in warmer environments. Uh, the quality of our air, our water, the air that we breathe. If you live in a big city, chances are there's more pollution and the quality of your air is less than if you live out in the country or in wide open spaces where there's a lot of nature to clean out the air. Lots of trees to clean out the oxygen to pull the carbon dioxide and the pollutants out of the environment. Uh, so air pollution, water pollution, where there's manufacturing or perhaps runoff or impacts of the environment, that all has an, it all has an effect on us, right? So we get to choose where we live, right? We get to choose where we live. We get to choose the body that we decide to come into, believe it or not. Now this is from, I believe, Esther and Jerry Hicks and the teachings of Abraham, it's a card. I think it's from Ask and It Is Given. I could be wrong. I, I'm, it's from one of their decks. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a, another one, but it says, I choose to be here in this glorious physical body. And to be this me has been my choice. Now you may or may not believe that, but obviously the Hicks and Abraham, the teachings of Abraham believe that. On the back it says, you choose the opportunity to experience this delicious contrast and to co-create with other joy-seeking beings to fine-tune the process of deliberate thought. And it says, what, where, when, and with whom you create are your choices too. And that's a topic for a, another day, right, with respect to uh, our relationships and other areas and aspects of our life, which we'll talk about in a few days. The other one is, I have the perfect living space. I have the per perfect living space. Again, I think this is a maybe a Louise Hay deck, but I could totally be wrong. I, it says, I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It is a beautiful location and at a price I can afford. I, this is definitely a Lu Louise Hay one. She does affirmations, and these are from one of her decks. So I like those cards because they remind me to think about things during the day with respect to whatever. I like to actually grab a random one from one of the decks. And this year, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just taking it. I sorted them out. I sorted like six or so different decks by topic that we're covering through the challenge. And then I just, some days I have one, some days I don't. It's, uh, I like them though, because they keep me thinking about something positive and I could take and carry it with me during the day. So if I'm going somewhere, I used to go somewhere every day, not so much these days with COVID, but uh, if I'm going somewhere, I can, you know, stick it in my purse or I can carry it with me. And if I just, you know, if something's happening, the environment doesn't feel comfortable, I, or the situation, or if I just want something to think about versus my mind just running at its, its own pace, I can grab one of those cards and take a look at it. So what's our action item today? I want you to think about your environment and, and pay attention to your environment today. A lot of times we just exist in our current environment and we don't really give it much thought unless it becomes a problem for us. Unless uh, you can't afford your rent or something and you have to move and get it into a different location. Or if there's some other challenge or if there's a problem with your house. You know, if a storm comes by, I can relate to this one. And uh, Kicks, kicks part of your roof off or ruins your front porch, then you might need to think about your environment or your home or your body. If your body is ill or sick, that gets our attention, right? We need to think about our physical environment. What are we eating? What are we drinking? What are we uh, thinking? What are we believing? So our action item today is to think about your environment and just share in the comments below, how do you feel about your current environment? You can say, how do you feel about your current body, your current location where you live, your current uh, living situation, your home, your surroundings. I would probably say cluttered chaos if I'm describing my surroundings. And I would say uh, 
cramped, small, uh, different than I'm used to, but it doesn't, different isn't bad, different is just different. That's it, that's our, our thing to think about today, a, a way to improve ourselves, We're doing one thing every day that improves us, so what is one thing that you might do or could do or will commit to doing to improve your environment today? I actually worked on my personal environment yesterday in my bedroom for a while, and, you know, just organizing and, and tidying up and redoing my bed and just putsy things that made me feel better about my bedroom environment, the place that I sleep. You know, we spend a lot of time sleeping, and it's nice to have a cozy, comfortable environment in which we sleep. So that's what I worked on yesterday. That's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, if you have any questions about our challenge and how we're doing one thing every day to improve ourselves, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow for another physical-related challenge. We're focusing on physical challenges and physical things. I guess not necessarily challenges, but physical things every day of the month, this month, this first month of the challenge. And then we will focus on a certain concentrated area for the first nine months of the challenge, and then we'll let you know what we're going to do. Have an awesome day, and I'll be with you tomorrow.